Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Leader Tree, where leadership grows, where strong roots build stronger skills, and where tonight we're going to be discussing a very, very cool topic, supersize me. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about supersizing. How do we grow from where we are to where we want to be? Well, we do it through increasing our footprint, right? I'm talking about automation. I'm talking about uh, the law of multiplied effort. I'm talking about growing to that next level. Not just going to that next level, but literally growing to that next level. So we're going to be expanding tonight. We're going to be ex growing it and, and pushing ourselves further in different directions than we've gone before. And can it be scary when you do that? Sure, because it's out of your comfort zone, right? You're getting bigger. You're getting a little bit more uh, things going on. It's a little harder to manage. you got to be more organized, things like that, right? But it's completely 100% doable if you have the tools in place to help you out. And that's what we're going to talk about. So sit back in your seat, buckle up, prepare, get your notebook handy. If you don't have it, grab your pen. And let's talk about supersizing. So how do we start? First, you got to know where you are. You got to make yourself a map of where you want to be. And you know, two points to every map is where you are currently and then where you want to be. Right. You know, one of the things that I like to do is when I have a new goal for something that I want. For example, I've got a goal right now on here. Um, when I have a new goal for something that I want, I either find a photograph of what I'm looking for or I create a photograph or a picture of what I'm looking for. Right. I scan that into the computer if it's not already available. And I post it on the desktop of my, of my uh, computers, right? I got one on my desktop and I got one on my laptop desktop. And I will put my goal right in front of me all the time, right? And then I'll add on there whatever the cost is to achieve that goal, right? So if the cost is a certain level of business, then that's what I'm going to put. You know, like I need to do X, Y, Z by whatever date and the date is itself is important because that keeps your brain on track right um, sometimes it's a it's a value goal right where you're saying I need to make this much um, money to accomplish this goal by this date right so in that case you're gonna put that dollar amount for your goal right but the important thing is keep that goal in front of you all the time. You're visualizing it and you're keeping it fresh in your conscious mind. And what you're doing when you do that is you're training your brain. You're training your brain that this is something you want because you're constantly seeing it. And then you're going to want to remind yourself of it out loud. You're going to say, this is what I'm going to get. I'm going to get this, whatever that goal is, whatever that picture is that you have there. And I'm going to do it by gaining whatever the parameters are that you've set by such and such time that you've set that date for. And then you're going to say your plan. And you're going to say, I'm going to do it with this plan, you know, to make sure that I get there by that date. Right? And then that's, that's what you're going to do. And it's called visualizing. But why does it work? I'll tell you why it works. Psychologically, um, the internal workings of your mind work like this. The more often you see, taste, touch, hear, right? And speak different things. Or the same thing, I should say, over and over again. The more often you see them, hear them, taste them, touch them, speak them then they're constantly building up in your conscious mind and they become a habit. They become a known that, that says this is something that's obviously important because it keeps showing up in different ways. It keeps showing up all the time. It keeps showing up in various 
methods. So let's pay attention to it. And that goes into your subconscious at that point. And your subconscious takes hold of it. And then you're reinforcing that subconscious thought process every time you do it. And so what happens is it becomes a habit to work toward that goal all on its own. I am not kidding. Your brain will start working toward that goal without you. Okay? Because it wants to reinforce the habit. It wants to help you achieve what you want. It wants to help you get where you want to go. So it's going to do that. It's going to make the effort on your behalf. Okay? Which is going to mean, at that point, it's going to start becoming easier to work toward that goal. All because... You've got it in front of you. You see it. You've planned it all out. And you're going to, you're going to look at it all the time and you're going to repeat it all the time and you're going to say it all the time and you're going to remind yourself all the time. Right? So all those things are helping you to train your brain that says, this is what I'm going to achieve. This is what I'm going to do. Not this is what I want. This is what I will accomplish. Right? And then you can even record yourself saying it and play that recording for yourself every day. Right? You can do that. And it's very powerful. I do this. I've been doing this for years. And that's why I get where I want to go every time. So that's how you start down the path of the supersized you. You start by visualizing what you want. And now it's time to take that and put it into action, right? Because your brain is going to start connecting the dots for you at this point. It's going to start bringing ideas to your forethought. And you're going to be like, oh, I got an idea how to do this. I got an idea how to do that. I'll give you an example just this morning. Because I, I've got my visualizing, right? Okay, For example... My current goal is to buy this French chateau that my wife wants. It's going to cost me 725 grand. My goal is to buy it by September of next year so that we can move in in time for Christmas, which is what she wants. Because what do you do? You got to make them happy, right? When your dream girl comes to you and says, this is my dream house and I really want it. What are you going to do? You're going to tell her, well, hope you believe in dreams because, you know, <laughs> ain't no way that's ever going to happen, right? No, you make it happen for her because she's your dream girl, right? So you make her dreams come true. Do I want to live in a French chalet? I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter to me. I'm a simple guy, really. Um, but that's her dream house. She's going to get her dream house. That's the way it works. 725 grand in 12 months from today. That is my goal. How am I going to achieve that goal? And that's the next part we're going to do this, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a plan. So do I plan on generating $725,000 worth of income? No. No, I do not. Because what happens if you shoot for the moon and you don't make it, right? Then where you go, you end up falling back to Earth. You haven't gone anywhere. So what you do is you shoot for the star way out there beyond it. Then, if you make it, great. If you don't, at least you landed on the moon, right? What does that mean? It means... Shoot beyond the goal that you set. So that way you're guaranteed that you're going to at least get to that goal. You might get better. Usually you do. Because if you're staying on the plan that you make, and you make the adjustments as you need to along the way, as you see things need adjusting, so that you can stay on that plan, the goal you've set for yourself should be pretty much inconsequential to the process. It's a guarantee, right? So 
do I set my goal for $725,000 this year in the next 12 months, I should say? No, I don't. I set my goal on a million two. If I set my goal for a million two, I'm guaranteed my 725K, right? Now, it's easier for me than it is for somebody who's got nothing, right? Because I'm not in that position anymore. Your goals don't need to start at $725,000 in a year, though, right? Your goals don't need to start at that level. My goal didn't need to start at this level. I wish to hell it didn't. <laughs> Never in my life did I ever think I would be spending seven hundred twenty-five k for a house, right? Um, I just finally got this one paid for, for example. But these are the things we do, you know. And so, in order to accomplish them, you've got to, got to, got to, got to, got to make a plan. You've got to, got to, got to, got to, got to visualize that plan. Put it in there and train your brain on it, right? And then the big step that I'm always harping on that people, people never do is you've got to take action on that plan. Well, I say people never do, but lots of people don't do it. Those of us in the know always do it. You got planners and you got action takers. And then you got people like me who do both. I plan it and then I take action on it. If you don't take action on it, you're not going to get where you want to go. That's a simple, simple thing there. You will not get where you want to go if you do not put it into action. Write that down. It is impractical to think any other way. Nothing happens if you don't act on it. Okay. Let's talk about what your brain does on autopilot for you. So now that you've trained your brain to start looking for these things, to start helping you get these things that you're visualizing and you're repeating to yourself and you're saying out loud and you're reading and you're looking at, right? Now you've trained your brain to pay attention to this. It's going to go on its own and it's going to start trying to help you do that. And that's what it's going to do. All on its own, it's going to start trying to help you get where you want to go, right? And so you're going to start having ideas, to help you get there. Um, all on autopilot, man. I mean, it's really cool. Like, for example, this very morning. This very morning. I was just reading through... Um, uh, what was it um, that I'm reading through right now? I can't think of the... It's like comments that people make on a, on a blog post. Right? Right? And so they're on this blog post and the post says, you know, what aspect of running your business takes the most time out of each of your days? Right? And like, there's 25 comments. So I thought, well, 25 comments is pretty good. I'll, I'll read those comments. And as I'm reading through, I come across this woman who runs a brick and mortar business. Right? It's a retail shop. It's just a little stationary store. And she says she spends four hours every morning just answering emails. Just doing emails. Four hours every morning. That takes a lot of her time. What could she use? How about an email service that'll do that for her on autopilot. Because I'm betting a lot of the emails she gets are pretty similar. A lot of the questions she gets are pretty similar. 
a lot of the things that she gets asked are pretty similar. And she could take that without being very specific, and she could put together some pre-done email responses that will go to these people. Right? She could also use a blog, right, that she could put out. And then that will just keep people in her email list informed of things along the lines of the questions they normally have. Right? And they can get added to those posts. Another thing she could use would be maybe a chat bot. When people come onto her website for her stationery store, they can ask a question right there and the bot will, based on the fact that People usually have the same vari variations, maybe, but the same questions. They'll get a response that works for them, or it'll prompt them to give her a phone call. Right? Pick up the phone. Dial it. Let's talk live. This is something that would really improve this woman's life, because four hours of her day, every day, seven days a week is just doing this one task. She says in here that she works 10 hours a day and then she goes home and has to work four hours more per night because she's got to prepare everything. She should have to not work at night, right? Because that kind of time that she's spending working at night is the same four hours of time she's spending in the morning with these emails. So if we take that off her plate, she can do that during the work day and enjoy her nights. Go out with her friends. For her, that's supersized. Now, how does that supersize me? Well, th that's my brain functioning, right? Because... What did my brain tell me to do when I read that? It said, hey, write this down and put it into action. Make a detail to your plan to include this. So what did I write? Because what do I, what do I do, right? Like part of the things that I do, one of the things that I do is I am in the marketing and lead generation space, right? with a company called TW3. And what they do is they have all of these tools available to people like this lady. I have available all these tools for people like this lady. Right? So my brain says to me, hey, knock, knock, anybody home in there? Write this down. Print it out. Make sure you don't forget it. Make this plan right now and put this into action. This will help you achieve your current goal. This will help you get to where you want to go. This will help you buy that French chateau that the wife wants. That's how it worked. It did that to me. It just popped into my brain. Hey, do this. So what I do? I took a screenshot of that page. I put it on a document. I wrote important right on top of it. Important. Do this immediately. And then I said, what do I need to do? I need to develop a sales process and a sales funnel to sell individual tools or tool bundles that will work for people like this lady, right? She needs an autoresponder. She needs a chat bot. She needs a text messenger on autopilot, right? She needs that auto blog. She could get those individually or I could put together a bundle for her and sell it to her that way, specifically detailed and targeted for her retail business. And then who do you promote that to? Now, you're not going to promote that to everybody, right? You're going to promote that to business owners such as her. 
because they run their own day-to-day brick and mortar business in the retail space. Lead generation usually isn't those people's problems, right? Now, most of the tools that we have on the TW3 side for marketing are based on generating leads, right? But in a situation like hers, she doesn't have a problem generating leads, right? She's got walk-in business. She's got an email list. She's got stuff going on already. Lead generation isn't her issue. And it often isn't, by the way, in the physical retail marketplace. But what is her issue? She doesn't have enough time to do what she wants to do. So she needs to supersize. And when time is your issue, as it usually is mine, by the way, you have to add more automation into your plan. You have to add more automation into your day, into your schedule, into your, into your process so that you can increase the value of your time, right? Not, I guess I could say, um, increase the productivity of the same time that you have. Cause we all have 24 hours a day. That's all we got. We all have it. It's a gift from God to us that says every day we're going to get 24 hours to accomplish as much as we can for ourselves. There are entire species out there that 24 hours is their entire lifespan. From the moment they're born to the moment they die. But they get those 24 hours. And they have to make the most of it that they can in that time frame. Now for us, we get multiple sets of these days, these 24-hour days. Several hundred of them every year. And then several hundred years. Well, not several hundred years, but at least a hundred years in most cases these days. And one woman, she lived, she was like 137 years old when she finally died. That's insane to me. Not too long ago, that would have been unthinkable. And now, it's like happening all the time. People are living way past 100 And every one of those years is full with 365 24-hour periods to accomplish everything that your heart desires. So you've got to use your 24 hours wisely, right? A lot of people waste a lot of it watching television. I, I, I literally wrote an entire book about how much you waste. The average person in America wastes 30 years of a life sitting around watching television. 30 years. Talking about a 24-hour day times 365 days times 30. By the time they're dying at the end of their life, 30 years were sitting around, motionless, doing nothing, on a couch or on a chair or in a bed, just staring blankly at a picture box on the wall with pretty lights on it. Maybe that's you. For a long time, it was me. But that's insanity. Think about where you could be today if you had done that better. If you had not been sitting there watching all that TV and, cause that's what, that's what's happening. If you put a camera beside your TV focused on you, what are you going to see it showing you? You just sitting there doing nothing for hours, wasting time. So how do you fix this? How do you fix this problem? If you don't have enough time in your day, 
Let's just assume that you're not being that person, right? And you are working, but you just can't get it all done. Well, the answer is you've got to automate the process more. You know, if you want to learn more to do how to do that, by the way, you can go to TW3Systems.com and check out the tools that I have there. Check out the system that I've got over there that's available to people. It's got all those things and a lot more. Auto responders, auto emails. It puts your entire process on autopilot for you. It's very, very cool. This is what I've been using to build my businesses for the last three years. Chatbots. Auto responders. Automated text messages. Automated schedulers. Appointment reminders. Follow-ups. All of these things to drive traffic and to hold that traffic and to work with that traffic, sell them multiple things without taking my time to do it. That's what it's all about. Because I don't have the time to do all that stuff. right? And neither does this poor lady. She needs four more hours in her day because she has four hours every night after she closes up that she has to spend doing them too. So if we give her those four hours back up front, she can shift that other four hours to do it during the work day. And she's supersized. We just got to put a little bit more automation into it. Like right now, for example, I just started selling the TW3 product. I've been using it for years. All of those tools we talked about. Been using it for years. Fabulous. Fabulous results. But now I'm selling it on top of that on the side because I want to help other people change their lives for the better. So one of those tools right now is this podcast, by the way. So... I've been selling it and I'm on track to make another 120 grand right now just doing that on the side. But I put my plan together where I'm going to be able to achieve my goal for the year across all my businesses to make sure that by the end of the year, I bring in the 725,000 that I can just write that check and be done. And that French Chateau will be hers. So, that's the goal. That's the plan. That's how we work it. This is how you supersize yourself. And as you get up, like right now, I don't have the ability put into place, right? I've got time to do these things a little bit more, you know, hands-on. For some of them. But as I grow it, I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have less time available to me. So that means I put more automation into it. Right? Like one of the things I'm going to be doing is webinars. Right? Because I'm not going to be able to do individual appointments for everybody um, in probably about three more months. So I'm going to have to put, you know, a call together with about 30, 40 people at a time and do it that way. You know, these are the things that I know that I've got coming up in the future. So I have to plan accordingly, right? And those are the kind of things that you guys need to think about as you get through. And your brain will help you do that if you train it correctly. And that's how you supersize. You add more automation into your process. And if you're a business owner out there looking to supersize your business, check out TW3Systems.com and see the tools that we have available to help you do just that. We've got things in there that'll help you just really automate your process and grow your business to supersize you on a scale that you wouldn't believe. I've been using it for years. I'm a very big proponent of this company and the system that they have all the tools for. You can put everything together in one spot, one place, one account. It's pretty awesome. So until then, I'm Chris Miller reminding you guys always keep smiling. Thank you for joining me here at the Leader Tree, where leadership grows. Bye-bye.